Hi everyone, my name is Chong. Today I'm going to talk about our work on the design and control of modular motor drives for aerospace applications. This work aims at designing a high-performance modular motor drive that can work in parallel to scale up the system capacity. Furthermore, the nominal power of each converter module should be maximized within the given loss and size limit, and the system should be natural convection cooled. For converter topology, we have selected four candidates, including three hard switching topologies and one soft switching topology. They are two level voltage source inverter, three level neutral point clamp inverter, T type inverter, and triangular conduction mode inverter. The latter is a soft switching topology. We use three capacitors to decouple the three phases, and the inductor current in each phase is shaped into a triangular shape to facilitate their voltage switching. To find out the proper topology as well as optimal design, we have explored the loss and size Pareto fronts, which demonstrates the trade-off between loss and size of all topologies under various power levels. The Pareto fronts shown here belong to T-type inverter. Considering the loss and size limit, it shows that T-type inverter can achieve a 5 kilovA maximum nominal power, which is higher than the other candidates. Thus, the T-type inverter is selected. In addition, the final design for a converter module marked by the restar is picked up from, from the 5 kilovA Pareto fronts. And here shows the picture of the single module. It achieved 99.2% efficiency at 5 kilovA output. The power density is 88 watt per cubic inch. Here shows the control architecture for paralleling two modules. The control implementation consists of a central controller for voltage loop and local controllers for current loops. There is no communication between the local controllers and there is no active control on circulating current between the modules. As each module controls their own output current, there shouldn't be low frequency circulating current if the current controllers are functional. The high frequency circulating current is mitigated by the output current mode and differential mode filters. This is the complete setup for two modules working in parallel. For each module, it consists of input filter, phase lines, output filter, and a motor controller here. The two modules receive the same command from the central controller, which is implemented by a DSP. The two modules share the same input and output, but there is no communication between the two. These are the waveforms recorded when two modules are working in parallel. This one is with 50 Hz output frequency and 10 kilovA output power. From top to bottom, there are phase and output voltages of the two modules, the total current, the two module current, and the difference between the two. It is observed that the difference is small, although there is no active control on mitigating it. This is the steady state waveform under 2 kHz full power operation. No obvious circulating current is observed here. These waveforms show the transient response of the two modules. A command change takes place in the middle. The two modules follow the command correctly and in a synchronized manner. There is no obvious circulating current during the transient. The same command change is tested under 2 kHz output frequency. The parallel system here works well in this case. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.